Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm making delicious, healthy salmon balls. But before I go into the ingredients, I would just like to talk a little bit about the, the benefits of salmon. I'm pretty sure you know already, but I'm just gonna go over a few of them. So we know that salmon is loaded with protein. Salmon is loaded with healthy fat and various vitamins and minerals. And omega-3 fatty acid are found in salmon and we know omega-3 is beneficial for heart health, brain development and joint health. Salmon is also high in vitamin B and potassium. And many people can testify or they believe that eating salmon regularly can improve your overall health, reduce inflammation, and boost your immune system. So as you can see, salmon is very versatile. And salmon can be an appetizer or it can be a main course. These delicious salmon balls that I'm going to make can be your appetizer or your main course. So let's go into the ingredients. So here I have my salmon, which I put into my food processor and pulse it a, a, a few times. And I have my seasoning, which we'll talk about. I have some garlic, green onion, I have some breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs I use is usually is usually whole wheat breadcrumbs or if I can't get the whole wheat I will use the garlic flavored and I also have an egg here so I'm going to start with the preparation. So we're gonna get these, all of these out of the way and then we'll go from there. So in my bowl, I've added the, the onion, the garlic and the parsley flakes. Fresh parsley would have been good enough or even better. And I'm mixing it up, but you could put it in your food processor and pulse, pulse it for a, a few seconds until everything is minced and blended together. But I'm just gonna mix it up. So my parsley, my garlic, and my onion are well blended. Together. Remember, you could use your food processor, but okay, so this is good enough. So, this is nicely minced and well combined, and I didn't have to use the food processor. And now I'm going to add my salmon, and again, you would put that in the food processor for the food processor would have to blend it together I put a few pulse blend it together but I'm not going to put it in the food processor I'm going to just continue to just do my mixing with my hand so I'm adding the salmon okay. and I'm going to mix and I'm going to continue I'm going to continue until it is evenly combined. And this looks well combined. So now I'm going to be adding the rest of the rest of ingredients to give it that seasoning, season, delicious flavor. So I've added some crushed red pepper, some paprika, all-purpose seasoning, and some black pepper. And I'm gonna 
continue with the blending remember each process can be done in the food processor as you go along a few pulses as you go along and add ingredients but I'm doing manual so this is all even so now I only have two ingredients leave and that is the the breadcrumbs and the the egg and I'm gonna add those momentarily and this is what it looks like after I added the, the breadcrumbs and now I'm gonna add the egg to give it back that moisture so I've added the egg and the egg gives it the moisture and also help to hold it together when you're forming the ball when you're forming it into ball so all my ingredients are in remember to season to your liking I use all-purpose seasoning in addition to the other seasoning that I mentioned and I also add a pinch of pink salt so you add to your liking all right so this looks good so this is done remember you can use your food processor with a few pulses as you go along add in your ingredients and this is done so and if you have time you can set this aside for the ingredients to blend in together you can set it aside for about 30 minutes that is if you have time and when you are ready you're gonna eat your oil on medium to high temperature medium to high heat and we're just gonna put enough oil in the pot to line the bottom of the pot we don't need to fill up the pot with oil and the oil I'm using is extra virgin olive oil so we're gonna allow that to heat up and then we are going to form our salmon into balls and put them into leave them to cook try not to overcrowd the pot so as soon as our oil is heated we are going to start putting the salmon the balls And these will take about seven to five to seven minutes turning them over on the other side halfway between the time and you can make the balls whatever size you want them And this is just going to be these four for right now so I'm going to give them about five to seven minutes turning them halfway on the other side halfway between the time so we're done with one set we remove it from the pot and then we're going to start with the other set and our healthy delicious salmon balls are now ready you can serve with with a sauce or some lemon cream sauce if you you like 
It's your choice and remember it can be an appetizer or served with your as a main course meal with your favorite side. I hope you'll try this video and all the measurements and the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description but everything is just to your choice and to what you what you want please remember to check out my shop and my other channel the links are on my channel home page thanks for watching please remember to like share and if you are on this channel for the very first time please subscribe